In today's video, we're going to be going over three brand new PlayStation 4 games that have been announced. They're not gigantic games, but they are pretty interesting titles that I think some gamers will have some interest in. On top of that, we've got a release date confirmation for a PlayStation 4 exclusive that is coming later this year, and it's less than a month out, so I do want to talk about that. Also, we've got an update on Cyberpunk 2077 and how that game will be distributed in North America. CD Projekt Red has gotten a partnership ready for the game. Recently, we talked about how Red Dead Redemption 2 was going to be a massive install on your PlayStation 4. Well, if you're also picking up Call of Duty Black Ops 4, better get ready to free up your hard drive because that game is going to be a big install as well. And speaking of Red Dead Redemption 2, we've got an update on that game and the fact that it will feature the entire map from the first game. At least that is what is being suggested. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's go over all of the new PlayStation 4 game announcements. First, I want to take a look at the one that is the most interesting to me and that is the 2D narrative adventure puzzle game Lost Words Beyond the Page. This is coming from Modus Games and the developer are Sketchbook Games, and here is the description for Lost Words. Lost Words is a platformer set in the pages of a young girl's diary featuring a soul-searching story by acclaimed video game writer Rihanna Pratchett. The game tells a touching story and invites players to directly engage with the thoughts and feelings of the diary's owner. The game has already won 14 awards including an indie prize at Casual Connect 2018, UKIE's UK Game of the Show at Gamescom 2017, and best story and best indie game at Game Connection 2016. So the game's been in the work for quite a while. Artistically, I think the game looks outstanding and it is set for a release sometime in 2019, but a game that I would definitely keep your eyes on. It could turn out to be something really, really good. On top of that, we've also got the announcement of the 2D arcade shmup, Fast Striker, and that's coming to the PlayStation 4 on October 16th. They've got a pretty in-depth post over on the PlayStation blog, and a new gameplay trailer has just been released for the game. And if you're into shoot-em-ups, this looks to be a pretty slick one. Fast Striker is a 2D vertical shoot-em-up where you can blast through six action-packed stages and encounter huge boss battles. There are four game modes, an elaborate scoring system, and adjustable screen and control settings that'll bring back classic arcade memories. The four game modes include novice original maniac and omake and it is touting a constant 60 frames per second which goes without saying it's not like this game is a visual monster but it'll be nice to see that out on october 16th And lastly, for those of you guys wanting a new racing game, we've got a pretty interesting one in Xenon Racer. This one looks to be a pretty slick racer with some cool visual elements, and I really want some more great racing game experiences on the PlayStation 4. I've been very vocal about that. Seeing the guys over on the Xbox One get their hands on Forza Horizon 4 has made me incredibly jealous that we don't have that quality racing game experience on the PlayStation 4. Gran Turismo is an iconic franchise, but it just does not hold a candle to Forza, and Xenon Racer might be something interesting. The game is set in the future, specifically in the year 2030, in an era of flying vehicles, a one-off championship for traditional wheel-based vehicles has been organized. With cutting-edge electric cars boosted by xenon gas, drift through cities like Tokyo and Dubai at a breakneck speed and claim your eternal victory. There have been a lot of lower-key racing games released on the PlayStation 4, but none of them have really transcended into mainstream success. We've seen games like Onrush, and while they've been good, they just haven't been truly incredible like a Forza Horizon 4. I'm hoping that experience will come with Xenon Racer, but me putting such a high bar for the game to attain. Maybe that's a little foolish on my part, but so far what I'm seeing of the game, I am liking. We don't have an official release window for Xenon Racer, but I will definitely keep you guys posted.
Moving on from that, a game we do have a release window and more specifically a release day for is the PlayStation 4 exclusive in The Quiet Man. This game seemingly came out of nowhere back at Square Enix's E3 press conference, which was really just a compilation of different trailers and whatnot. But it is a very interesting game coming over from Square Enix that they are publishing. And it's definitely a story-driven experience, having full motion video and CG incorporating into some gameplay. The game is said to be rather short. We've heard that you can complete the game in one sitting, so don't worry, you're not being charged a full $59.99 for the game. It'll be going for just $14.99, and it'll be released on November 1st. On top of that, if you do pick up the game within the first two weeks it is released, you'll also get a dynamic theme and some PlayStation Network avatars, so that's pretty cool as well. Quiet Man isn't a game I think a lot of people are taking to right now, especially with all of the games coming out. The release date was just kind of announced out of nowhere, but it is a game that I could see really surprising people because Square Enix is going for something really really, really unique with this one. I think when people saw it back at E3, they were pleasantly surprised by the game, but at the same time, when information came out that this game would be a smaller experience, a game you could complete in one sitting, I think some people were a little turned off by it. The description of the game itself is this. Quote, The Quiet Man takes players beyond sound to deliver an immersive story-driven cinematic action experience which can be completed in one sitting. In a story that unravels across a single night, players take the role of deaf protagonist Dane as he fights his way through a soundless world to discover the motives behind the kidnapping of a songstress Lala by a mysterious mass man. Game sounds interesting and I'll definitely be checking it out on November 1st again, just $14.99 and it will be released exclusively on the PlayStation 4. Moving on from that, a game that so many of you guys are excited for is Cyberpunk 2077. I can joke around and say we're not going to play this game until 2077, but it looks like we are closing in on some progress with the game. I think we're still a little bit of a ways out from the release of this game. I think at best case scenario, this will be a holiday 2019 release and I don't think we're even going to hit that, but holiday 20. 2019 would be absolutely fantastic, but we do now know that CD Projekt Red has teamed up with Warner Brothers Interactive to bring Cyberpunk 2077 to North America. Here is the official post by CDPR, quote, we've worked with Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment on The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and both releases turned out to be really successful. So we're entering this new stage of our cooperation with great confidence. Cyberpunk 2077 is our biggest and most ambitious project to date, and I'm really looking forward to all the amazing things we can achieve together. Warner Brothers also chimed in saying CD Projekt Red is one of the best game development studios in the world and it's great to be working with the team again. Cyberpunk 2077 is a standout title and we're expecting great things from our continued collaboration with CDPR. Again, Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't have an official release window at this point, but with this partnership with Warner Brothers and the fact that they are revealing more information about the game and its release and how they're going to be releasing this game with this partnership, hopefully we'll hear something about at least a release window sometime soon. Moving on from that, Red Dead Redemption 2 we know is going to be a 105 gigabytes, but if you're also picking up Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Charlie Intel got the scoop that the game will require around 100 gigabytes of storage space out of your PlayStation 4. That is absolutely insane. Think about this. If you got the PlayStation 4 back at launch, that launch console has a 500 gigabyte hard drive. If you're picking up both RDR2 and Black Ops 4, which I know a lot of people are, that's around 200 gigabytes alone. That is absolute madness. When you originally thought about 500 gigabytes, you would think, hey, I'm never going to fill up 500 gigabytes worth of games, but now two games are taking up 200 gigabytes. That's a little bit ridiculous, and that's why picking up an external hard drive or replacing the hard drive altogether is not all too bad of an idea. Of course, you can always just delete and reinstall games. It's not like it's too big of a deal, but having the majority of your games installed at once, that's what I like to do, but your preference may vary. Lastly, I just mentioned Red Dead Redemption 2, but now we do know that the game will feature the entire map from Red Dead Redemption 1. Specifically in a question and answer session with Dutch website Inside Gamer, Rockstar spoke on the game and they asked them, are Armadillo and New Austin in the game? And the response was, yup, after asking Rockstar, they told me the entire map of Red Dead Redemption is also in the game. But that, of course, there are many more areas added. In the six hours I played, I got only to see a small part of Blackwater and even that was pretty gigantic. Six hours was not enough to see any of the other familiar places. Of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be an absolutely massive game. Red Dead Redemption 1 was an open world game released all the way back in 2010 and it's not like that game was absolutely enormous I actually went back and played that game recently and comparing it to some of the bigger open worlds you see these days it's definitely not quite at that level but the fact that that whole map is going to be just a small part of the entirety of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map what you can expect out of RDR 2 is a gigantic map to explore and that's kind of what you would expect considering it has been over eight years since the release of RDR 1. Red Dead Redemption 2 will of course be dropping on October 26th and if you don't have a PS4 Pro yet 
you can check out the RDR2 PS4 Pro bundle. It's just a generic black console with the game, but for $400, not a bad deal. And that is going to conclude this video. Again, three new PlayStation 4 games have been announced. The Quiet Man, a PlayStation 4 exclusive, will be coming on November 1st. Warner Brothers is working with CD Projekt Red to bring out Cyberpunk 2077. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 looks to be around 100 gigabytes, and Red Dead Redemption 2 will feature the entirety of the map from Red Dead Redemption 1. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.